It's June 3rd through 5th with three stages and more than 20 artists. Enter now to win your way into Riverbend on Local 3's Facebook page. Track severe weather. Download the Local 3 weather app now. One of the most fun things I think about living here in the Tennessee Valley is that all of us come together as a community, but we're very proud to have our own little pockets of the area that we call home and celebrate often the history of that area. You find that to be true for sure out in Soddy Daisy and Mont Lake, where Steve Smith a while back began to really focus on the history of that area and bit by bit it grew into a museum and now a fair. So Bill Shadwick is on with us this morning, getting us all ready for the Saudi Daisy Mont Lake History Fair yes. coming up this Saturday, right? Yes, it is this Saturday from Once again, nine to the four. high school. Uh -huh, at Saudi Daisy High School. We'll have 68 tables of uh, local history. And, uh, 68? 68 tables. Oh. And it's not just, uh, doesn't just pertain to Saudi Daisy. Uh, we have several people that will be bringing in stuff from all over the area. Uh, the photo doc will be there if you have a photograph that you want to re have restored. Oh, really? Uh, he, he'll be able to take care of that. Uh, Sam Hall is well known for his pictures all around Chattanooga. So don't think it's just Saudi Daisy. We're, we're very inclusive and uh, we're bringing stuff from all over. I, I will not pretend that I know the area yes. of Saudi Daisy at all. Yes. So my statement might sound ignorant to those who do. But it was <laughs> surprising to me years ago when we first began talking to Steve yes. as an outsider to, to realize that there is that much um, protected history yes. in that one little nugget. Yeah. So you have to think, multiply that times all the areas around here. We're holding on to treasure troves oh. of information that we do nothing yeah. with. It's amazing. Uh, right now at the museum, we have a uh, homage to the uh, Cherokee uh, Trail of Tears. Really? I have a big display there. You know, we have prehistory items, uh, and of course, fossils and things of that nature. But, uh, you know, the coal mining industry was really our biggest. Uh, push and, and you know people don't realize everything settled from north to south here mm -hmm. and so Chattanooga was settled after the Saudi Daisy area was settled even though Saudi Daisy only became a city in 69 uh, 1969 that is yeah. <laughs> you know I guess it kind of um, speaks to this human nature I guess yes. to forget that the present that we're in will one day be exactly. history. I know when COVID first yes. hit in 2020 and our family got it. And yes. I remember talking to my children saying how weird to think that in the years to come when y'all mm -hmm. have grandchildren, yeah. it'll be my grandmother lived yeah. through COVID. Just like the Spanish flu, you know, 100 right. years ago. So, so. so that we've kind of made a point yes. of holding on to some newspapers and things like yes. that, that one day Will mean something so i say that because steve yes. has written all these books yes. you'll have them for sale yes, the we'll photographs sale. in here are unbelievable steve has spent years uh, talking to elderly folks and getting their stories and, and borrowing pictures and we are always soliciting pictures uh, that gentleman right there had a store in daisy his name was pig neely everybody knew him everybody traded guns with him and went to his store for treats and stuff one of the many there's hundreds of small stores Right now in the museum, we have a, uh, a mock-up of a, a store and gas station with the gas pump at 14.9 cents per gallon <laughs> inside the Whoa. museum. <laughs> well, you also, we'll be bringing that to the fair, but you're welcome to come see it. You also were telling me that the real thing, I mean, you enjoy yes. the memorabilia, oh, yeah. but it is the story. Yeah, we love to have the stories. Uh, the story is what it's all about. That, that's the only way to uh, preserve the history is to get the, the written record, you know, like if someone brings a picture, we always ask, are their names on it? Because we want to know who they are. And, and so oft, oftentimes we'll put on our website a picture and say, does anybody know these people? Mm -hmm. And so, uh, and if you have items that you want to bring to the museum uh, that you don't know what it is, we, we'll try to identify it. There's, there's some pretty good experts there. Well, I, I guess I'm right that you break the word history down and that's uh, his yeah. story, uh, but that you hear now especially talk of how that history in the history books is yes. written from a perspective, but the true history is the story of the every man sure. who you might not really ever have a chance to, yeah. to get to know. Exactly. So you pull together yes. all of these individual stories in the middle of it all is the truth. Yes. And we have so many people moving into our area. I heard the other day we're 35 new families in the last year wow. that have moved That's into the Sunday's area. And so we have a lot of people that just come in and want to find out about uh, uh, 
their, the, the local history, you know, what they moved into. And uh, to be honest with you, Sod Daisy had a pretty rough reputation there for a few years, but mm -hmm. we're a very, very nice place now. And, and this would be a perfect opportunity if you're new to the area to come in and just see what our history is all about. Uh, it's just amazing, and, and uh, we, we're just, we love to talk to people. We love to, uh, we have people coming in all the time and talking to us about, you know, asking questions about how Saudi Daisy, you know, how there was so much history still remaining here yeah. that you can see. Does it end up being a reunion in a way when you have these fairs that people uh, is. run into it, somebody? Yes. We have We have a lot of local folks that come in. Uh, some of them bring their genealogy. Uh, I don't think we'll have that this year, but sometimes we'll be able to hook up to a computer and, and have someone look up their genealogy. But we have people coming in with with uh, names, local names, yeah, and we can we can actually show them photographs of their relatives that wow. they've never seen. Now you mentioned before I let you run about mm -hmm. the photo doc. Yes. Are you saying that if you bring in an old family photograph, he can fix it on site? He can't do it there. But okay. He can, you, you, he, you can solicit it. But you could, he could bring it and sure. he could say it's beyond repair exactly. or yeah. gotcha. Yeah. yeah. And, and we'll just have a, uh, we'll have a lot of Civil War history, of course, our local mining history and uh, Native American, you name it. We, we just run the gamut. Nine to four at the high school. Yes. Um, just pretty much come see what you see. Maybe yes. you'll walk away with some contacts. Yes. Uh, for exactly. something to you to, for you to then reference mm -hmm. when you get back home. Yes. Uh, maybe are, will there be appraisers? Do you ever have appraisers uh, that y'all we, send we've people We've not to? really done that. We unofficially we, we could you say could refer. yeah we could put a we or we could refer. Okay. Yeah. But we ask for a three dollar donation if you're not a member. If you're a member of our association, you get in free. Okay. And uh, we we take any donations. We'll and the books are for sale. Books and they're are for a sale. big part of the mm -hmm. fundraiser, so that yes. would be great. Yes, and we'll have uh, some uh, door prize. Well, not door prizes this year. I think we're going to have a silent auction and nice. some uh, uh, resale items. Bill, thank you for your time. Thank you so much. Appreciate Save it. Save those family photographs. You never know who might be interested That's in them exactly one of these it. days. The high school, 9 to 4 this Saturday. Discover your history. We're back after this. Thanks. You can get your smile back today. At Affordable Dentures and Implants, we make high-quality tooth replacement affordable for everyone. So whether it's a single tooth, full dentures, or life-changing dental implants, we have an experienced dentist who can help you go ahead and smile. Click or call to schedule your new smile consultation today. Go ahead and smile. Do I love speed walking? 